AMC is ripping, the markets are dropping, seems like a common trend these days, but there is something you guys need to know, a key level on AMC stock that I want to go over with you, go over all of the news and the data around specifically AMC. So let's get into it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below any questions, comments, or concerns that you guys might have. And before we jump into all of the key information, get yourself those free stocks. Links down below in the description with Weeble, Moomoo, and Public. As well as that, if you guys want to come trade with us, link down below in the pinned comment. And follow me on Twitter because that is also free 99. Now, AMC is up. Uh, about 15.5% very volatile so we might be higher or lower by the time you guys actually see this video but nonetheless it has been a good day and you're seeing solid levels of support on the day as well really around $20.50 per share anytime we've come down to that we have quick quickly jumped back up to around that $21 range. So looks like a solid intraday level of support. This kind of started out of nowhere. We did hit the low of $18.18 and then we have uh, pretty much went up ever since that. $18.52 was really the low right before this rally. So it's been a really bullish day and i'm not going to complain whatsoever 22 dollars looks like the key level right now you can see we topped out right there right here and then we also topped out at 22 dollars right here literally on the penny 22 dollars twice so watch that level if we can break above that here in after hours that's going to be really really good but even if we don't today that's going to be a key level for tomorrow and heading into the future we did come close to 22 right here but not quite that was about 22 uh, or 2180 we topped out right there so watch that $22 level we'll get into that a little bit later on into the video as well talk about the overall technical picture here but I do want to go over some of the news that is coming out we don't have any specific news to why the markets are actually going down right now down about one one percent on the s p 500 you guys can see the sell-off started really in two rounds right here was the first one we were not doing too bad for the day sold off rebounded a little bit continued this stair step down and this is when you really started to sell off so who knows it looks like we're seeing a little bit of a bounce right now but the volume came in during this sell-off and this is eerily reminiscent of what we've seen uh you know over the past couple of weeks so if we start to see that end of the day sell-off uh just know you're still in a very volatile market and things can change on a drop of a dime as far as the actual news uh there's a couple things that are kind of spooking the markets today um it, the uk officially went into a recession today and that's obviously not a good sign for the global markets our markets but as well as that around the world for the rest of Europe, for China, obviously Russia already in a really bad situation. We did have Fed Daly today and she said it's too early to call. We will have a global recession. And if you start to see the Fed talk about recession more, it's going to spook the markets on top of that you kind of have this uh meme stock rally it's not across the board by any means gamestop amc a select few other stocks as well and you are seeing 89 counterparties take 1.8 trillion at the reverse repo operations it is one of the highest on records i believe it is the highest on record and that's obviously showing you there's a need for safe third party collateral and treasury bonds. That's about as safe as it gets. So you're definitely seeing a rush to uh, collateral right now, especially as AMC and GameStop are rallying. Kind of suspicious. Just a little bit. But hey, who uh, we'll see if they do continue to cover. Now, NATO says uh, the NATO head tells Russia it cannot win nuclear war again nuclear war nato addressing russia definitely going to cause some uncertainty and instability in the markets 
as well as that nothing else really that's really what we have uh here on the table it says us will unveil new russia sanctions that was from sullivan giving a press briefing right now and then he also said we project more russian troops will be in belarus and then biden to talk about coordination on china us has not adjusted its nuclear posture the us to discuss contingencies including cyber attacks and a couple more headlines that are coming out but it's nothing too crazy besides what I already went over that is essentially uh, moving the markets today. Nuclear talks, nuclear war talks, that's going to move the markets in a dramatic way. Recessions, also going to move the markets in a very dramatic way. And what tends to happen in Europe, we're shortly behind that most of the time. As history has shown, not very many times does Europe and specifically the UK go into a recession and we don't follow after all the UK's inflation rate is about 6% our for our inflation rate is higher than that so put that into a little bit of context take it for uh, what you guys want to could be uh, reminiscent of what we're about to see but that's really it as far as the news is concerned let's get into some of AMC specific data and we are we'll go ahead and refresh this page uh, looking at 21.06% short interest of free float, 108.5 million shares that are sold short, cost to borrow max of 4.33%, utilization of 100%, and days to cover of 2.99. So not too much has actually changed for the day as far as AMC is concerned. Return shares, 1.36 million, borrow shares, 1.47 million. So shorts are taking this opportunity as the stock price has went up to come in and short the stock again. I think that's why you're seeing these big one minute candles. And then just as fast as that, you're seeing a uh, rejection, right? And, and it was almost textbook right here. Every four candles, you were seeing one big candle and then one decent size red candle like one two three four boom big candle one two three four big candle one two three four big candle that is as has kind of stopped but uh watch for those weird patterns they can make for some uh really good trades but a lot of shorting activity as well going on today probably a lot of uh, you know synthetic shorts a lot of naked shorting that is going on right now on an intraday basis to keep the stock down and pinned at certain prices you are seeing a lot of call activity though that is coming in as well uh, some of these $18 call for April 1st $16 call for March 25th uh, $50 call for June 17th uh, so lots of calls that are coming in today 58 orders totaling 30.63 million dollars positive order value of 83 percent and i think this just goes to show that uh we're probably gonna go higher in amc stock it looks like institutions are loading up on a lot of these call positions but it's like a battleground right there's going to be sides in this there's going to be people that want the stock to go down people that want the stock to go up either way it's looking really good as far as the option activity is concerned you guys just witnessed my daughter call me mama so we'll leave that right there we could see that the reason why amc and gamestop is actually uh rallying is because ryan cohen bought a hundred thousand more shares of gamestop and that kind of sent shockwaves through retail uh stocks a lot of people started to buy amc gamestop specifically like i said there's been a couple other runners as well bbby was running last night and after hours a couple other ones as well um i don't know exactly how long this is going to last some shorts it looks like as far as the price action some shorts were covering but like you can see from the ortex data you're not really getting um a lot of those shorts covering it it's a very small amount a lot of this activity is actually uh retail investors as as you already do know I, i'm sure you guys do know this stock twits amc has been the top trending ticker for two days in a row now so a lot of people that are looking at amc and buying amc as well as a lot of institutional investors buying options in amc uh it's looking pretty good for another potential short squeeze here so keep that in mind all of that's going to be very important the markets and um amc are kind of correlating today in a weird way not as much as other stocks correlate with the s p but when the s p is taking these deep dives just straight down amc does tend to react as well you can see here's the first dive here's the second dive there is somewhat of a correlation but it's not definitive here and uh 
you know, it, it, it's, it's not something that is going to make or break this rally, but it is having some level of of an effect now as far as the economic data that is coming out for the rest of this week we do have more fed speakers tomorrow ecb elderson speech that definitely uh, causes some volatility especially now that they are um in a recession over in the uk gonna be interesting we do have durable good orders month over month that is highlighted in red that is a big volatility catalyst and uh, that comes out at 7 30 in the morning initial jobless claims as well at 7 30 in the morning and you do have fed waller that speaks fed bostic fed evans all of that tomorrow so uh those fed headlines they do move things around and uh, keep that in mind they speak in between 8 a.m and uh 10 a.m so early in the morning tomorrow and just like the fed spoke today uh fed jerome powell at, at 8 30 i believe in the morning uh today nothing came out of that there was no headlines to pull out the markets you know didn't have anything good to hear out of that didn't have anything bad so the markets kind of took it neutrally with a slight bearish tone because nothing really changed so that's what you guys need to know as far as that and as far as amc and the max pain that is at 15 dollars 50 cents by this friday it definitely looks like we're going to be well above that like we are right now just watch that 22 dollar level that's going to be the most important level to pay attention to because we did see resistance today around those ranges and we're seeing huge candles guys some of these candles are three percent moves up or down there's a three percent move right there next candle down 2.76 percent so you're definitely seeing a lot of rejection once you get close to 22 and that's indicative of a lot of either naked shorting or a lot of intraday large block short trade so uh pretty interesting right there uh looks like we should be able to break out of 22 but we're just gonna hang out in this range for a little while the macd is still bullish but surprisingly on the one minute candlestick chart it's starting to uh get that bearish tone if we pull this up to the daily candlestick chart you guys can see this move that we were talking about and that's exactly what i was going over on the live stream last night and in the videos yesterday that we would likely go to about 21 dollars tomorrow and if we see something really crazy we could even head to 30 you know 33 this 200 day moving average that is up here uh by friday if we do start to see the actual shorts covering in a substantial way not these hundred thousand or two hundred thousand uh share short positions but these large short positions so i wouldn't hold my hat to it it's not a diff uh, definite thing but it can happen the macd is bullish and you are seeing this gap widening quite dramatically so that is looking really good the rsi is now approaching the overbought level but you're still not over 70 so it's not technically an overbought territory so uh still expect there is some room to go to the upside before we get to that level before you see people talk about the rsi being oversold and people start to freak out and and, and panic and sell out and all that so uh looking good from all of these aspects the volume for the day is uh sitting at 132 million that's large for what we've seen uh recently but still the historical volume is it, it's not that large like we've seen right here you even had 145 million shares trade hands on uh december 17th as well as that you did have 124 million trade hands on february 1st so it's not too crazy uh as far as historical right we've seen hundreds of millions of shares trade hands on any given day but the fact that you are going up 15 percent day after day on a relatively low historical volume definitely a good sign if we can start to crank out even higher volume days this thing is going to get crazy and it's going to get crazy really really quick we are above the 50-day moving average as well that is at $17.23 per share if we pull up the Bollinger Bands you are above the top end Bollinger Bands that's two standard deviations away from the 20-day simple moving average that moving average is under the 50-day moving average it's at $16.55 so we are absolutely taking off we loaded up the rockets and we are heading to the moon it literally looks like a rocket launch right now so all of it looking good not too much bad things you could really say besides the fed coming in and uh giving their hawkish statements definitely not gonna help the situation the s p 500 going down as well 
not helping the situation but besides that amc is standing on its own two feet and it is doing the dance to the moon so that is going to be all for this video we will check back in at 4 p.m to go over anything else that has transpired in the markets things are very fluent right now and they are revolving and moving off of headlines so stay tuned for that video at four o'clock we're going to be going over some key things in the meantime hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already and make sure to comment down below any questions comments or concerns that you guys guys do have and come join us on the live stream 10 p.m to 11 p.m eastern standard time we go into encore quite a bit sometimes it's around 11 30 we get off there but uh, i try to answer as many questions as possible if i'm not able to down below in the comment section so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one